friends, I'm Melanie from MelanieCooks.com and today I'll show you how to make French toast without egg. For this easy recipe, uh, we need uh, butter for pan frying and also you can use vegetable oil or coconut oil as an alternative. And we need milk. You can use any kind of milk. Um, if you want it to be vegan, you can use almond milk or oat milk and I'm just using regular milk. Um, for the egg substitute, we're using cornstarch. So for French toast without egg, cornstarch substitutes for the egg. And we need bread. And for the seasonings, I'm using cinnamon and vanilla. And those are totally optional, it's just for flavor. So basically the only necessary ingredients for eggless French toast are milk of your choice, uh, cornstarch, and bread. So I'm going to Start first by preheating the griddle or the frying pan. So for the griddle, I'm preheating it to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you're using a frying pan, you should heat it over medium high heat. And now I'm going to combine milk and cornstarch. So this is 3 fourth cup of milk and one tablespoon of cornstarch. Now, if you're wondering what if you don't have cornstarch, uh, you can just use milk. It will still work. Maybe the consistency won't be um, as much as a regular French toast, but it will still work. So no cornstarch, no problem. You can just still and go ahead and make it with just milk. But here I'm going to mix uh, milk and cornstarch. So just mix it until it's fully dissolved and mix together. And now I'm going to add cinnamon and vanilla. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of vanilla. And those are optional flavorings. teaspoon cinnamon, half a teaspoon vanilla. And again, mix until combined. surface so if I use the frying pan one tablespoon would be enough and here for four slices of bread I'm going to use two tablespoons so I smell the butter And now I'm going to dip bread in the egg and cornstarch mixture and then put it on a griddle. So just dip the bread on both sides. So now I'm going to cook French toast um, for about four minutes or until it's brown on the bottom 
So just keep a cold side of it, especially if you're using a frying pan. Make sure it doesn't burn if necessary, just the heat. And once it's browned on the bottom, they're going to flip it and cook it to the other, in the other side. And now French toast has been cooking on the side for four minutes. So I'm going to flip it over. So just do it carefully. This one doesn't have eggs, it's softer than regular French toast. So flip. Looks good, and now it's finished cooking on this side. It takes about three minutes, just keep a close side so it doesn't burn. And then we're going to remove it, throw it onto the plate and try it. So the French toast has been cooking on this other side for three minutes and it's ready. We see it's browned on both sides. So I'm going to turn off the griddle. And if you have a frying pan, then turn off the heat and let's uh, remove it onto the plate. Looks so good. So see both sides are brown. Perfect. So here we are. We made French toast without egg. So if you don't have eggs and all you have is milk, uh, you can make French toast without eggs. And now let's try it. I'm so excited about trying it. Put one here so I can try it with maple syrup. Add some syrup. And now let's try it. It looks so good. tastes amazing. You will love it. For a free printable recipe and other easy recipes, please visit my website, melaniecooks.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Melanie Cooks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy!